Hello once again my friends and welcome to another demonstration of Scavenger SV4. As I mentioned in my previous video, I wish to help raise funds for the American Cancer Society by acting on a suggestion from YouTube user Master Basher, who asked me to demonstrate the effects of continued radiation exposure on ending scores and epilogues. So let's get started here. All right, so this is where the game begins. This is the personal log where I play a scientist looking to preserve my reputation. It says here, the fools say that I am discredited, unreliable, a disreputable source. The story goes on to explain that I have liquidated all of my assets to go on this expedition to prove that my scientific assertions are correct. So what's going on here is that I'm going to run through this expedition without using the auto dock to treat myself to radiation exposure. I'm going to continue doing the expedition and at certain points I'm going to save the game, depart orbit at various levels of exposure to see the continued effects and eventually I'll get to a point where the radiation will kill me. And I'm doing this in the hopes that people will donate to save real lives in the real world to the American Cancer Society. I've included a link to my wife's Relay for Life page in the description of this video. So that all said, let's get started. Let's establish our link with the rover and let's launch the rover. Now while we're going along, I want to let you know that I am not in easy mode here. I am taking the usual radiation exposure. So this is a pretty good representation of what will happen in the game. Now right now, I'm going to turn off the radio receiver in order to conserve power. In future runs to the surface, I'll probably have that removed to give me more uh, space to carry artifacts. I have a little time before re-entry. So let me open the door here. I'm going to open a few doors just to make it easier to move around. Looks like we've got a lot of derelicts on the surface that I can loot. In fact, there's one right behind me, so I'm going to start with that one right now. Okay, so that's one. one. 
And here's a fourth. Okay, let's recall the rover since I have a full load. Alright. While the rover is returning to the ship, let me see what my exposure level is. Okay, so I have exposure approved the desired limit. I have a dose equivalence of 320 millisieverts. I could get treatment, but of course I'm not going to, so I'm going to decline treatment at this point. I'll open a few doors here, make it easier to move about. And it looks like my cargo management terminal is rebooting here. Probably a function of the radiation exposure. Alright, so let me bulk unload the rover, start moving everything into the science lab. So this is at the end of one run. And I can start doing the research. Now since we're checking for the effects of radiation exposure, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to save the game and archive the save file so that I can keep going deeper and deeper into the game. So let me save this. Okay, I'm back. So, we have one load. Let's see what our exposure is right now. Okay, I've got 493 millisieverts. And that's listing as just cellular damage. So I'm going to decline treatment. And what I'm going to do is, after this one load, just break orbit and end the expedition and see what happens. Now, I know that research is incomplete, which will affect my score. But right now, I'm interested in knowing what the multiplier will be based on this little bit of exposure that I got. Let's see what it says here. In the course of his expedition, he exposed himself to no appreciable radiation damage. He got out while the getting was good. The sale of the handful of objects he recovered from the alien planet brought him a decent paycheck for the trip, even after paying for fuel. Sure, sometimes he second-guesses himself. Maybe he could have grabbed a few more artifacts, but he would rather live with that uncertainty instead of being certain that he should not have stayed so long. The universe is a big place. Other adventures await him. Okay, so this shows perfect health at 100%, and that's for 493 millisieverts of radiation. So that's good. So let me take a moment, and I'm going to reload my save position, and we're going to do a second expedition to the planet's surface. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So we have the research computer chugging along, analyzing artifacts. Now, before I send the rover for another excursion, I'm going to send it to the garage and remove my radio receiver to make one more slot available for grabbing loot from the surface. So let's do this now. Radio receiver, don't really need it. I said I don't really need it. 
And then while I'm at it, I'm gonna shuffle things between slots here. Okay, that's better. Okay, so let's launch the rover. And let's see where I'm at right now. All right, we're up to 573 millisieverts. It's still simply saying above the approved exposure limit. That's not bad. Let's see, what have we got? We've got a heavy infrared laser valued at 3,700 credits, and we've got some other artifacts still being analyzed. While the rover is making its way to the surface, let me take this heavy infrared laser and move it to storage. All right. I can see we've got a pretty good number of derelicts around, so this should be a, an interesting run. And it looks like another one of our artifacts is a parabolic radio. Alright, object nearby. Let's pick it up. And a flame projector. Nice. Actually, we'll go over here first, and another infrared later, laser. Yeah, the other benefit of not having the radio receiver is that it reduces your battery drain. Looks like we have another artifact over this way. Alright, so on our way back with another load of goodies. Let's see what we have here. We have another infrared laser, laser valued at 2,900 credits, a flame projector valued at 2,100 credits, and a parabolic radio valued at 1,700. All right. All right, so let's move these into storage. Let's see how my exposure is doing. Okay, now we're up to radiation damage, so we're at the next level here. Cellular damage caused by ionizing radiation, elevated long-term risk. Current dose equivalence, 933 millisieverts. Okay, so let's unload the rover and cycle all of these to 
the lab for analysis. Okay, time for me to save my game again, so that I can archive this before going on to the next level of exposure. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, let's step into the auto dock again, and see what our current exposure is. Alright, so... We're up to mild radiation sickness with scattered cellular damage, measurable damage to bone marrow, white blood cell count reduced. Current dose is 1,066 millisieverts. All right. So if I stop right here and end the expedition, let's see what that does to my multiplier. So, exit the link, exit orbit, and end the expedition. Okay, so it says here... In the course of his encounter, he exposed himself to no significant radiation damage. He returned to Davis Station with a cargo hold of precious cargo and arranged for a massive auction. It was a gamble, but the prices went higher than he was expecting, and then higher still. When the dust settled, he was looking at a bigger pile of credits than all the money he had ever seen before in his life. It may not be enough to retire for life, but it's enough to overhaul and upgrade the Wizard 2 into one of the finest examples of her class. The future is bright. So, we're right now seeing near-perfect health at 98%. So that's near-perfect. Okay, so this is a good place to stop. So in my next video, I will continue exposing myself to more and more radiation and checking the effects on the multiplier and the storyline. So thank you very much for watching, and I would like to ask once again to please help support the American Cancer Society by making a donation to the link in this description of the video. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.